Uh, let's uh, do a quick update here with Dave from Department of Labor. Dave, I know you guys are probably too busy to do a TikTok challenge, but if you would, <laughs> if you could, you would, I know. Oh, yes, of course. You would want to see that. I definitely yep. would. Yep. <laughs> Uh, we just brought you on because you know people are uh, commenting, wondering about the the status updates, uh, if you could. So we'll give you the floor. Just tell us uh, where you're at with the uh, processing and releasing of payments for the uh, pandemic unemployment assistance and also the uh, FPUG, Dave. Yes, uh, thanks for uh, allowing me to speak. Uh, first, we are now batching uh, on the next payment file uh, uh, for June second third and fourth and uh, that request went in last night and we'll be moving forward with that so um, and so probably in the next four or five days there should be another payment going out if everything mo runs smoothly or uh, maybe sooner or later it all depends on how the, the when the batch file comes in then the requests for the funds are drawn down and received and once those funds are received then those batch files will move forward to the bank for payment um, you know so another request for second third and fourth has been made and is and it is being processed as we speak mm -hmm. you know we have a, I guess we have a question here uh, my wife has a transaction number and a pay date showing on her dashboard a few friends of mine That's say they got their posting at coast 360 as of 6 p.m. on June 23rd she hasn't gotten anything I'm not sure. She got her posting. I'm not sure what that means. Yeah, a few friends of mine say they got their posting at Coast 360 as of 16. Meaning that they said that there's something coming in. You, you know, with the, the electronic funds transfer, I don't know the procedures. I'm not a financial person. Uh -huh. But uh, there may be a day or so from we're going from one bank funding mm -hmm. to the next bank, and maybe that bank holding those funds until it gets into the account. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Sabrina. I mean, yeah. your guess is as good as mine, but the payments are running and they're, you know, we'll learn as things go on and mm -hmm. keep moving, making payments, that kind of the time processes, but uh, it, it, they are what they are and they are moving quickly as far as I know. And there may be a one day for processing from another bank to another bank. Um, those things you, you probably better off asking a financial institution right, for right. but uh, <laughs> uh, I Dave, got the payments out and they were made okay. so you said uh, June 2nd 3rd 4th right yeah. uh, how, uh, so the first payout was 35 mil how much are we anticipating with these the next uh, batch that's when when I get when, when they do that batch file that's when I'll have a dollar amount okay, okay. because as we're speaking now the second, third, and fourth, I have people going in and trying to uh, double check and look for possible issues in uh, in those uh, claims. Cleaning, as you would say, making sure that uh, all the claims that are batched uh, uh, today are going to be uh, uh, at least had a look and see if there's any issues to any of them. And then uh, we have another crew that's going back to those that had uh, issues uh, and kind of looking at those that from the 30th, 31st, and the 1st. Uh, we may not get to all of them, but to those ones that uh, getting another cursory review. So, you know, I have small teams that are being divvied up and trying to work feverishly to move, re, uh, move these files on. And just to kind of make sure that uh, I let, uh, to let the people know, yesterday we had a, another uh, meeting with the software vendor and uh, we are moving forward with about nine prevention measures, fraud prevention measures that are going to, that we looked at and we approved and are going to start uh, being installed into the program in the next couple of days. And these fraud prevention measures will mean that those uh, files that, uh, those claims that are made will, will go through these measures and those meaning if you made it through those measures and those are cleaner and then that means we can batch files farther you know more days because we don't have to manually try to do these uh prevention fraud prevention measures it'll be done automatically so hopefully in then you know next week or so uh we'll have a larger batch to be able to run okay. uh, and then move we'll quickly get up to present uh, much faster with these measures in place 
Can you explain the phone uh, system again? Because I, I remember you said something like it doesn't have a voicemail because people uh, are commenting that when they call it, uh, no one answers and it just hangs up. Well, uh, I think we, I don't know whether it's a fix to the better or for the worse. Uh, we were able to get uh, the, the vendor to put in a busy signal. And uh, that way, now you're complaining that all I get is busy signals. Well, that's because every single person that we have on the call is busy uh, working on a, a claim in or an issue or a problem. Uh, like I said, I've had to divvy, my groups are getting smaller because I got one calling in call applications, one calling in 311, one dealing with problems, a group that are dealing with uh, in-person applications, a group that are going to the uh, libraries that are dealing with those, and then I have a group that are putting cleaning claims for payments. I got a group that's circling back to those. So my groups are getting smaller and smaller as we uh, move uh, quickly to try to get a, the payments out and the claims in and dealing with problems. But if we are able to get these fraud measures in, then we can batch all the way up to present. That means that group can now circle around and start taking care of problem claims and, and taking care of getting claims in and uh, as you can see those three days which is the 30th 31st and first two of those days were soft opening we didn't even announce it mm -hmm. one day was when we you know monday was the day that we announced the system went live and i don't have the total amount of claims but 35 million dollars worth of claims wow. were paid so that shows that although we might have problems there's a hell of a lot of people that got clean claims in and that I got paid. And uh, so, you know, I do want to say just don't concentrate on the problems. There are a lot of people that went in and were successful in putting in claims. Uh, I, I don't want to discount those problem claims, but, you know, you can't ignore three days, $35 million. Uh, that is a feat. Uh, I, and... Uh, something to say you know something is working it's not just problems and uh we are continuing to work tirelessly to get everybody taken care of uh there's just so many areas and we're chipping away at it and doing our best to get as many people paid and uh, uh we are doing the best that we can okay, okay. well thank you for that update yeah. Yeah, Dave, maybe uh, I'll try and ring you Friday if we could just get another uh, status uh, of this. Yes, uh, so hopefully that batch file will get in to uh, DOA. And once that batch file gets, gets to DOA, then we'll know what that total amount will be for those three days. And um, we can uh, get a better picture of the timeline. Right on. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Thank right. you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Take it easy. Have a good day, and I'll you wash too. my okay. hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye. I appreciate uh, him coming in. Um, yeah. I called him. I was like, man, if people were commenting, and he was like, for you guys, I will. Oh. Pretty sure it was for you. <laughs> um, good morning. I really appreciate that, though. Yeah. It's good, good stuff. Yeah. So one of my friends was uh, messaging.